Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. I'm in the woods and I'm whispering. Quite honestly, I wasn't planning on filming this, but I thought, eh, I pretty much bring you guys along with everything else I'm doing. So I'm gonna get out my phone and just film this whole video with my phone quick and whisper. But you see my deer stand behind me. So this is out on one of the properties I got permission to hunt. Last year, this is just a typical cheap 15 foot ladder stand. I got this for $45 clearance at Walmart after the season two or three years ago. But it does not come with that uh, little dress, if you want to call it that, around the rail. I did that last year mainly to hide our legs. All right, I'll pause that for a second because there was a, a big diesel on the highway that way going by. But last year I put up that little it's kind of see-through, but it's kind of not, just to kind of hide our movements, especially when I got the kids out deer hunting with me. They get to move and they get bored, so on and so forth. But what I had the idea of is I'm gonna build an upper deck for it, not to sit on, but to have stilts and a canopy that essentially hides our face and I can make slits for windows. If that doesn't make sense yet, I'll explain it. But a fully enclosed blind like that is like I don't even know I don't know the prices because that's way too expensive for me and I don't even look at that type of stuff because I can't afford it so we're gonna make a redneck fully enclosed blind redneck like blue collar not redneck like redneck blinds I know there's a company that makes blinds but I only spent like 20 bucks I'm gonna show you everything that I got then we're gonna put it together it's gonna be the best thing you've ever done to your deer stand gonna hide your scent it's gonna keep your movements from the deer I don't know how many times there's been deer in front of me and I didn't see him and sneak him here in then I just do one little thing check my phone and, bleh, bleh, and then you know the deers are gone but needless to say cheap DIY do-it-yourself almost fully enclosed deer stand for these cheap 15 foot whatever deer stands that you got let me show you all the stuff I got so we got our ladder here, right? And then you can see, I've already got some of the wood up there kind of mocking up what I'm planning on doing. I'm gonna have the sticks lean out a little bit, give us a little more room. And then, these are just one by twos that I spray painted. And then, one of these Walmart camo blankets. That was, I think those are 10 bucks now. They used to be cheaper, but I'm gonna get a bunch of this put together and do it real quick. And then I'm just going to show you how I did it. Alright, so I'm up in the stand now. You can see here. This little thing is for holding the camera. But, see where my... There's my feet. There's the seat. And then this one is actually a pretty big cedar that this stand is around. And I'm going to try to give you a view of what I'm doing here. So... Uh, essentially I got it framed so I've got a post one by two that sits on where your feet go and then I've got that zip tied at the bottom then I've got the one by two zip tied here to the rail and that on both sides obviously and then the rest of it's actually screws and not zip ties so if I can reach out here you can kind of see what's going on. This is a post right there on this side. There's that other post. It goes up to the top. I put a post and back to the tree. Screwed into the tree. I know some places you can't screw into trees or don't have permission, but here we pretty much got permission to do whatever we want as long as we don't trash the place and pick stuff up. But screwed into the tree there. I didn't have this brace in the center, but I just put that in there. And then you can see how I put that up on the tree there. But hey, this thing's sturdy. So now all I gotta do is go uh, grab that, uh, what's that thing called? Burlap. And uh, you can see how I did the height just barely above my head. I probably could have done that a little bit lower, but let me go get that burlap and try to figure out what I'm going to do with it. And the staple gun. Alright, so there you have it. 
I only did one layer thick because I mean you can barely see through it with your eyes the deers definitely can't see through it now all I did was staple gun all the way around the sides you can see the staples there and now I'm completely hidden you might be saying well what about the windows yeah I'm gonna cut some strategic slits through this probably one in on each of the three sides so we can see out but hey worked out awesome instead of spending 500 thousand beans we got a 45 dollar walmart blind and maybe 30 bucks worth of supplies in it but hey thanks for coming along like i said i wasn't planning on filming it but hey we're gonna be uh hopefully catching some deers out of this blind and they're not gonna see us up in the tree because we're hiding behind this thingy but hey appreciate you watching I didn't put a roof on yet. I'm gonna think on that a little bit. Might try to get some of that uh, plastic siding they put over uh, patios and stuff if I can find some scrap. Uh, keep the rain off us and keep the heat in in the winter. But hey, appreciate y'all watching. All right, so I'm out of my garage. I can talk a little bit louder now. So I was in a hurry to get this video done so I was rushing, and then my stapler broke, and yeah, I was getting kind of frustrated. But just to kind of end the video, I took the, the picture for the thumbnail from the ground and realized that from the ground, I could still kind of see through the sides of that, like it needs to be doubled up. So I called my wife, because she was in town, asked her to buy me another one of those burlap things. Well, they didn't have any, but what they did have was some of this camo tarp so I'm gonna use this for the roof just draw it real tight staple that down on the roof and then yeah that ought to work pretty good let me pop up that picture again just to show you what I'm talking about the see-through part so yeah you can see it's kind of see-through well, the whole point is to hide us so I'm going to double that up and cut out uh, some form of window slots through that fabric. And while she was there, my wife also got me a stapler. I've gone through two staplers in the last month or two. Get the metal ones. They'll last you forever. I was trying to use the high-tech plastic ones. Maybe they were cheaper. I don't know. But they uh, poo-pooed on me. But my wife got me a new stapler. Uh, I'm ordering a burlap for those walls and then I'm going to use this tarp for the roof. Keep the rain off of us and help the kids stay more hidden and help me film moving the cameras and whatnot. It is so hard to move a camera while you're trying to be cameraman but not move. Yeah, so that'll help me hide being the cameraman. Yeah, and keep some of the heat in when it gets real cold. Alright, so I actually, this is the next day. I had time to run out here and finish it so just to give you a quick look from inside here's the frame one down the middle outside outside posts in the front corner let me flip it around and show you my view well, this is here sitting right here I stapled a tree branch right there to kind of hide any other silhouettes on the outside and then there's the front and then there's this side and then like I said the roof I've got that tarp up there you can see how this is more see-through than I thought it was going to be. So I'm actually going to get one of these. The back corner here, like the, I'm sitting way back here. There's nothing, there's no wall right here. So I'm actually going to get another piece of burlap started on this edge and then just wrap around. Then I'm going to honestly just cut some real small windows. Good enough to slip the crossbow through. But yeah. Figured I might as well bring you guys along. Hey, this is one of the most awesomest tree stands I've ever been in in my whole life. And it's a lot more fun when you put it together yourself. So, sucker's sturdy too, but hey, appreciate y'all watching. We'll see you on the next one. Hootie hoo!